Howdy folks and welcome back to another tech tip. So this week we are going to be looking at 99 math. So this is for all you math teachers out there from elementary up until high school. It's a nice way to do some formative assessment in kind of a different fun way and it also allows you to kind of work on mental math facts and things like that. So how it kind of works is sort of like Kahoot but it's for math where you give problem sets and then the students go on a device on a Chromebook and then they're going to answer the questions uh, and it'll give you a kind of an idea of where your students are at. So let's just check out kind of what it can do. You're gonna start an educator or teacher account. I'm gonna log in with Google. With the free version for educators, you can do live practice. I don't think you can assign it for homework, but uh, we're just gonna focus on that kind of formative assessment piece anyway. So you can see all the different things. We have equations, number of lines, exponents, perimeters, division, addition, order of operations, money, and time, and number line. All right, let's check out perimeter and area. So let's do rectangle, uh, triangle, pentagon perimeter, or tetragon perimeter. Let's do triangles, and we're going to start some practice. So we are going to do a fluency game, then you set how long you want the game to run for. So let's do five minutes. So it'll be three sections of one and a half minute. So now you invite your students to play the game. So like Kahoot, you can invite them with just a game code. Uh, so they don't have to log in with their emails, which is what we always like to hear. So you can either put this in your Google Classroom, this link, or they can join via the game code. I have to put three accounts in here in order to play so I can't demo just one so I'm just gonna quickly do that so once you put your name in there you can um, choose your avatar that you want uh, to play as and then now we have our people in there and you can do some warm-ups while you wait so four times four times four four two this is perimeter uh, I didn't even look for area. I think this is all just perimeter. So this is pretty easy stuff. So the kids can practice while you wait to get everyone else in there. And then once you're ready, you'll see here, we're going to play with the class. So you solve problems on your device. So this is what the students would see. So we're doing perimeter. Six plus four plus four is 14, 12, 15 so they're just gonna try to answer as many questions let's do some wrong and then it's gonna tell you your class accuracy so so you can see here it's counting down the time you're seeing uh, how many problems are solved for the class you can see common mistakes so if there's a question all the students are getting wrong uh, you can see those you can see your students, how they're doing. So you'll be able to see their, their name there, their username and, and how well they're doing. And then at the end of the round, it generates some results. So you can see the accuracy of the class. And then, you know, you can see the mistakes and things. So you can run that through the three rounds and then have this idea uh, of where your students and your class as a whole is with the topic. Let's do something a little more challenging. Let's do, Equations, we'll do some multiplication. I guess they only do 1 through 12. So I guess this, yeah, this is more just for elementary and middle school. Uh, I don't know how much of a use it is for high school. Let's start our practice. Choose a fluency game. We'll just do three minutes, three one minute rounds. Boom. So that's just joining with the link. It brings you right in there and then you put your name in. So I have it set up. All the students are in there. They've been practicing. So now we're going to play with the class. All right, so here we go. 11 times B equals 55. A times 9 is 108. Let's go 8, 36, 2, let's do 1. So it's a quick way just to see how your kids are doing. Uh, this isn't going to be a long video. You can see that there's lots of fun, like order of operations I think would be a good one to do. Comparing number line, decimals, fractions, rounding money. 
there's a lot of useful topics on here, so see if it works for you and your students as a fun way to do some formative assessment. And that's it from me. We'll see you in the next one.